Here we have the chapter 4, which is the balance in weight feature. So designed special to play the Paco de Lucia's posture or alike postures. And means that we can have that thing it twice here and I don't need to be pushing with the right hand or holding it with the left hand. So what does it mean? It means that it takes totally the tension from those two aspects. So here Paco himself explains why ever since he changed the posture. So here we will see how from this posture, Sabika's way, Paco changed it to the horizontal way and how why this happened. It's a big change in the history from Guita. <laughs> And even if the traditionalists attack him vehemently for this change, <laughs> imagine. So, whatever since Paco did that for that innovation there regarding posture. And from that, AG started exploring possibilities through many reliable experiments and very well organized research. Special thanks to Mr. Mansour for his contribution on that. And this time, uh, culminating with the creation of a balance in weight guitar, a unique feature, particularly suitable for those who play in a horizontal way. It doesn't need to be flamenco, it can be any style. And now there's this huge balance advantage is available in AG for both Vanguard Center sound hall guitars. People can play without holding the instrument. Here you don't need to put any pressure on the forearm so you're pushing this or having to hold it with the left hand. Which means it's designed for horizontal posture. And also for the simplicity models of course, which is great is that this is a balance guitar in its weight, which means I don't need to also be holding it with the left hand, I have free my hands and my arms, so I'm be pushing with the right hand or holding with the left. So for the posture, ever since Paco changed the posture, playing to a more horizontal posture, this is the dream to play for that kind of technique, because its balance alone, just the instrument, holds it in this in this position, that I don't need to manipulate or move it with the weight, and therefore this affects playability so much. Right? It's ideal guitar to play any style. So, then the four, even for the short scale 610 uh, centimeters guitar, now it's available that also as well. See here. A balance guitar. So meaning that I can leave Very it there. small guitar. Now I am afraid I'm going to be pushing like one right fret or with the short with the left one. So it offers a playability of other planets. And just check how what's the difference of in size to the normal one. So this, this is considerably smaller. So even those ones there are being made now uh, as, as a balance with this balance feature. 
put in some parallel feature there is no other guitar in the market with such a balanced in weight characteristic represents an entirely new concept of playability a redefinition of playability itself concerning ergonomics and this is without a doubt one of the most remarkable contributions ever made in Spain or anywhere else in the area of Tomenco guitar making what Paco de Lucia did essentially required modifications on the instrument itself it's a guitar which does not help the player to play easier, beginning with posture, starting from the way you hold the instrument itself. Such a non-balanced guitar is as good as using roller skates for a nice skate ring. Another interesting concept, or it's very interesting to notice, that the AG's double back idea, which is this, We have a double back. Uh, having this double back serves not only as a vehicle to obtain several different characteristics of sound combining different tone woods, but it also supports the balance in weight feature altogether. And although because of the very weight of the back uh, and sides in tone woods to make female guitars, I will explain what is this male and male guitars, this is length. It has, uh, this balance feature still cannot be done for a Blanca, but there are plenty of similar female light guitars which have balance in weight feature. This is the case, for instance, with the mild male guitars, another thing that Paco created. Here's the sound, that sound of mild male that I mean. These instruments also have some of, of the female traits of sound. Here you can listen some. Also discuss later on what is this mild male, female and male concept. But the main thing is that regarding the thickness of the box, unlike the 12 cm thick first prototype of Negra guitar, which Paco created, inspired with the great guitars of, of German Luther Hermann Hauser, yeah, he had this idea to, to make a, a Negra for flamenco, so he created this guitar here which was so thick actually look at the, the thickness of this, it's 12 centimeters thick was so you see it's a very thick guitar and in AG the balancing weight feature can be also made even having thin sides from the range of 9.6 centimeters of thickness of the, of the sides, meaning it are pretty thin, uh, up to 11.5 centimeters of thickness indistinctively, which is like this. This is a, real, a great Valvero guitar of Frank Thomas. So then the double back itself, which is this feature, we said before, it allows a wide variety of colors in sound found, found when combining the external backwood with the internal backwood. So it also goes in harmony with the balance in weight feature because the, the guitar projects the sound from, from the back out. So here we have a video for that to understand, it's very, very important. This. And it's a very interesting thing. It's, it's a series of rubber bands and, and an iron weight on the bottom. Um, the principles of physics that this can illustrate are that 
if this hand were to be the top in this rubber band, the air mass, and this mass, the back, and usually the back is a heavier, denser, more massive wood than the face. So this example would be true to that. Now, the intelligent guitar maker will try to figure out how the top and the back will function in tandem, because it's the relationship of one to the other that will determine how successful an air pump you've made. Uh, we learned this experiment in high school physics, where if you have an arrangement like this, you could uh, just you know, really, really, really drive the guitar top with a lot of energy, and it would make very little difference to what the back is doing. It's mostly inert. But at the right frequency relationship, a rather small amount of drive from this end translates into considerable um, increase of efficiency in driving this member. This is what the guitar top and the guitar back do with each other. So it's incumbent on the maker to try to figure out what the, uh, the um, resonance relationship of those plates ought to be to one another. Because if you miss it, then you, you'll get something that really wastes a lot of the energy. It's tricky. It takes uh, you know, years sometimes to, to zero in on that. But uh, everybody who's serious about this will wind up going in this direction. Y el loco que descubrí ahí el, la improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque en la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando, de cómo estás tocando, de qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Pablo, sí, Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas eh, elaborando esa música.